lane down here, any lane down here, any lane.
final lap. This is your final lap. This is lap five, so you'll be bringing it in this corner. Bring it in when you come to this corner. One five two point one eight 
152.181. This is your fourth lap.
you'll be able to see him when he when you got him in sign in visual. Uh, you go ahead and talk back to the doc. Okay, you have, you have the doc all up here. Back in. Okay, I'm back in. That was a lot of smoke for a second.
Try to get your laps in here, Dave. They said there's 20 mile an hour winds coming really soon. So if you get your laps in, try to.
buoy's the end of your lap. The buoy's the end of your lap. Come on in. You guys got him from the dock now. Copy, I got him. Uh, please make your loop. We're going to be coming in behind the strong boat, so it looks like you've been doing it earlier. Standing here with Dave Vilwalk, driver of the U-40, the Beacon Plumbing. First time out here on the Columbia River with the boat, well, at least down here on the Columbia. You were up in Pateras last uh, October. Didn't look to the fans like maybe it was your best day, but I know you tested a lot of things. I'm assuming you learned a lot of stuff. Yeah, it ran really good. Actually, there was some things that we wanted to do on some of the control surfaces, and, and we got that stuff working. There was some stuff we wanted to fix and drivetrain stuff that worked really well. So that's good you know we ran a 150 something i wasn't really trying to go fast i was just putting in laps and uh you know we're we had some bearing things that we had problems at pateras and we fixed that you know so we had a whole laundry list of things that we wanted to do speed wasn't really what we were after unfortunately we had we went last week to uh, um, fix some fuel controls and one of those was junk before we came here and the other one was supposed to work but it wouldn't take throttle out there so we tried to adjust it up but it really didn't want to adjust very well so that didn't work and then we we thought that we we're going to get a big windstorm which was just a scare and then it went away so that that we were going to run the other engine and we didn't get a chance to yeah about the time you were going to get the engine in all of a sudden it died back down again and of course looked good as soon as they said close the course the wind died yeah <laughs> <laughs> but if you're going to have a day like today, have it today. Don't have it on at the race course. Yeah, that's what testing's about. You know, is to get organized as a team, try to learn whose job, who does what job, and how they do it, and what sequence it gets done, stuff like that. And uh, you know, I learned some things. There's even some things in the cockpit that I'll change around it a little bit better to control the boat a little better. So all around good. Talk a little bit about this team. You got to get to know the boat. That's one thing. But you've also got a whole team you're bringing together of new guys. And I know you've brought in some people that you've worked with before. How's the team coming together? Uh, they're doing good. You know, everybody's learning. You know, it's a change from like the 440 operation is something they're having fun, period. And, you know, there wasn't a lot of pressure to, to uh, run systematically. They were, you know, you go run, you analyze, you run again, and, you know, and that whole thing. And so, you know, some of the guys are, learn, are, are teaching the other guys really how all of that works and how we set up, even how we set up a pit area to work in. So we work really efficiently. So we're, you know, learning all those things. Everybody's learning the job again. It's a test session. So all of those things got worked out. So doing good. I got to think you're anxious to go racing. Yeah, it'll be fun. I mean, I think, I think the boat's really, really good. Um, you could see that we weren't really. I wasn't really trying to go fast. We were running around and breezing around at you know 155 or so. So, you know, that's that's a good that's a good day. You know, and I think we can do better. Buck 55 out here is pretty darn good lap. How familiar are you with the water down in Guntersville? Have you been there before in other boats? It's smooth. We'll load up the big gears and the big propellers. <laughs> <laughs> Wind it up and let it go. That's right. <laughs> Dave Velwalk, driver of the U-40, the Beacon Plumbing, he too will be at that race on the south's fastest water. Dave Velwalk, U-40, Beacon Plumbing. Thanks, Dave. Beacon Plumbing. Beacon what? Plumbing. Beacon Plumbing. Don't forget freaking Beacon Plumbing. Don't forget. <laughs>